Hi, and welcome to the Word of the Week. This week's word is dynamic. Now, here at the Martial Arts and Wellness Center, uh, we've been using as our message of the month for the month of June, uh, striving to achieve balance. And we've talked about some of the components of balance. And the word dynamic, a lot of times, doesn't seem to equate with most people's perception of what it means to be balanced. See, most people actually think static in terms of balance. Right? So they uh, think that when you are balance like if you're standing on one leg that there's no wavering that you feel very stable and this is something I picked up when I was uh, I've been teaching a lot of seniors classes over my my career as a martial arts instructor and working with senior populations and uh, especially helping them trying to improve their balance to prevent falls using the art of Tai Chi uh, what I started to notice is that uh, a lot of people created a problem with their balance because they had the wrong perception about what it means or what it feels like to be balanced. You see, they'd stand on one leg and then they would feel their ankle or their foot start to shake a little bit and then immediately think, oh, I'm losing my balance and then tighten their body to try and remain absolutely still and then lose their balance and have to put their foot down. What I discovered when, when I started to talk about people this process is it's that misunderstanding. You see, the process of the ankle kind of wobbling and the foot kind of shaking, that is your body achieving balance because it's a dynamic process. It needs to continually change. Right? That is our process of uh, dynamic is uh, marked by usually continuous and productive activity or change. So your ankle acts as a stabilizer. As your body makes these small adjustments because your body when you're balancing doesn't stay still, right? You're breathing, so your body is in motion, your blood's moving, so there's constant motion, so there has to be constant adjustment. If there was no adjustment, if there was no dynamic process, you would lose your balance, right? So, but it's because of our perception that once something is in balance, that it doesn't need any more action. And then when you feel those pulls, we begin to freak out and go, oh, everything's gonna fall apart, I'm gonna lose my balance. Whether it's in the physical sense or whether it's in our emotional uh, or mental or personal lives, uh, this is the same thing. You're never going to achieve this kind of static balance where everything just keeps going and there's no feeling of left, right, up, or down. It changes because life is in constant change. That's the one thing that we've learned. The only constant in the universe is change. So if you want to achieve balance, it means that it must be this dynamic process. You adjust for this, then as something else happens, you must make an adjustment on the other side. So it's a, it's a continual and evolving process. It is not stagnant, it is not static. Now, one of the other uh, definitions of dynamic or dynamics uh, relates to music, something that I love very much, and I've spent most of my life as a musician as well. And that's what makes things beautiful, is the, the change, the, the change in force, the change in intensity. Uh, you know, sometimes things are loud, sometimes things are boisterous, and sometimes they're quiet. And those dynamic changes in nature allow us to appreciate uh, our lives. Uh, you appreciate music because of the dynamic contrast, uh, whether it be the volume or the, the contrast that occurs uh, through uh, tension and, and things like that. Uh, so our lives are really the same way. Uh, the quiet times uh, sometimes help us to appreciate uh, the productive times, which are the busy times. When we get really busy, then we certainly learn to appreciate the quiet times. So it's through the dynamic contrast that we learn our place and learn the importance of finding balance, finding where we feel centered, where we feel at peace, where we feel whole. Some people may be more on the go, 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 go. I know I'm sort of that kind of person. I like to be on the go. Other people need to have peace. Now, not saying that I don't like peace. I certainly do. I need to have at least a day where I can just do my thing and I can be quiet so that then I can go for the rest of the time. Other people like to have the, the more even lower energy things, but then they need to have a day where they can get out and they can be energized and then they can come back into their own space. So neither one is right, neither one is wrong. It's just a question of what's right for you, what's going to give you the results that you need. And learn how to balance out your activities, balance out your perspective, balance out 
the way you do things uh, and make sure that they're in line in alignment with your fundamental goals. Okay, so I hope this helps you to uh, think about this process of balancing in a slightly different way. And hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hope to see you next week.